Hey there guys, the real tough fan here and welcome back to another episode of my Football Manager Co-op with Chris. I am playing as Munch and Gladback, Chris is playing as Wolfsburg and we're straight in this episode with our next game against Kohn in the German First Division. It's Sommer in goal, Dems at left back, Janschke and Schultz at centre back, Johnson at right back, Ferre Jacker, defensive midfield, Takeshi's Castle on the left. Hahn on the right, and Hazard just behind Raphael and Cruiser. Let's see, guys, if we can get this first episode off with a good result and a good three points. Right, guys, we're just getting underway now in this away game against Colm. And there we have it. It's a Jeff in the 19th minute. Up steps, whoever this is to take it. Whom is it? I have no idea. It's Cruiser. And he scores, and we go 1-0 ahead after just 19 minutes, thanks to a Jeff. And the second half is just kicking off now, guys. And there we have it, guys, in the 60th minute, Torgan Hazard, with his fifth goal of the season, puts us 2-0 ahead. It's a great finish from the edge of the area. There's Takeshi's castle to Janschke, out to Schultz, gives it to Hazard, and it's an e a brilliant effort, in off the post, and it's 2-0, 60 minutes gone. And it's 2-1, guys. It's Dusan Svento with his first ever goal for Cologne. What a surprise that he scores it against us. There he is, look. Goalkeeper makes a brilliant save, but spends about a week on the floor. And there's Svento, 2-1. And just two changes to tell you about there, guys. Off comes Schultz. Picked up a knock, so he needs to come off. On comes Stranzel. And off comes uh, Max Cruiser on a 6.6 .6 match rating. And on comes Patrick Herman in the hope either he could score us another goal or that we just see it out and win 2-1. And there we have it, guys. In the 68th minute, Patrick Herman with his ninth of the season puts us 3-1 ahead. Super sub Herman comes off the bench and gives the ball to Takeshi's Castle, who gives it back to Herman himself. And there it is. Brilliant finish. And we are 3-1 ahead, 68 minutes in. And it's 3-2, guys, in the 90th minute. Simon Zoller with his second of the season. It's a through ball that none of the defenders picked up on. And there he is. It's a good finish. It's 3-2. Only 90 minutes gone. And that's full time, guys. It is 3-2. We have managed to come out winners against Colne. Um It leaves us currently in third, a point behind Dortmund in second. And, well, well up in the top of the league. Um, lives in third. We had eight shots, four on target, to their 30 shots and 12 on target. We had less possession, but we've come out winners, and I do not know how. But the mo most important thing is the three points, and we have won. Brilliant result. End of the match. Right, guys, here we are with our next match. It is a huge match for us. We are at home against Dortmund. We are fourth, Dortmund a third. This is a squad, it's Sommer in goal, Vent at left back, Janschke and Schultz at centre back, Korb on the right, Kramer at defensive midfield, Takeshi's Castle on the left, Pierre Patrick Herman on the right, Hazard just behind Raphael and Cruiser. Let's hope we can pick up three points here and move above Dortmund, who are not only above us, but also one of our rivals. And the match is just kicking off now, guys, against Borussia Dortmund. And that's half time guys, it is nil nil. Um not much really happened in that first half. We probably could have scored, but equally so could have they. Eight shots five on target to their six and four. Possession relatively even. Still nil nil. Let's see what happens in the second half. And there we are in the forty sixth minute guys. Patrick Herman with his sixth goal, seventh, tenth, whatever I don't even really care goal of the season. To put us 1-0 ahead against Borussia Dortmund. It's a good finish. And it's 1-0 in the 46th minute. Not soon after this second half has started. Right guys. Literally 30 seconds or so after he scored. Patrick Herman gets himself sent off. So what I have to do here is. Bring Hagota on for Hazard. Hagota goes out to the right. And Kramer moves up from defensive midfield. Into central midfield. And we play a 4-3-2. Let's hope. We can just at least see this out to get at three points. If the worst happens, we get a draw. I'm happy with that. And right on full time, guys, Raphael with his 11th of the season puts us 2-0 ahead. And the 10 men of BMG 
beat Dortmund 2-0. It's a good finish as well from Raphael, and it's 2-0. It's got to be the three points. I'm going to even keep this rolling now till the full-time whistle, which is coming in, a, in virtually two seconds, surely. Come on. There we go. Full-time, guys. It is 2-0. What does that do to our league standing? I do not know until I've done my team talk. Well done, lads. Good win. Blah, 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 blah. Herman, red card. I'd rather not discuss that right now. Leave me alone. We are up to third, guys. We're well, well, well within these Champions League places. Even, we're basically joint second. Six points behind Bayern in first. Bayern will run away with it. But if we can finish in these top four, I'll be absolutely buzzing this season. Great result. 2-0. And let's push on for the rest of this season and see how we can finish. Right guys, here we are with our last match of this episode. We are away against Chorna Moretz in the Europa League. Anything, a point or more, should see us through to the next round, to the knockout stages. So here is the, here is the team. It's Sommer in goal, Vent, Janschke, Schultz and Korb. Kramer at defensive midfield, Hahn on the left, Pierre, Patrick... Peewee Herman on the right. Hazard just behind Raphael and Cruiser. Should be enough to see it through. This is live. This is going to be the match. So let's see how we get on. And the match is just getting underway now, guys, against Chona Moretz. And we are the clear favourites for this one. The actual pre-match report said that Chona Moretz may, not, may as well not even bother turning up for this game. We are such clear favourites to win this, which means we are almost certainly going to lose. Or at least not win. Even a draw. But I don't think we're going to win this one. When we've been we've been given the such clear favourites, guys. I don't think it's going to happen. Surely it can't. There's Hazard. Hoofs it forward. It's intercepted. But there's Raphael. Who actually nicks through. And Raphael's in. And Raphael blazes it high and wide. And it remains nil-nil. Just, oh, and here we go. We're going to go 1-0 behind. Nazarenko whips it in. Oh, it's come out to Pierre Patrick Peewee Herman, who plays it out to Raphael. It's a good ball across to Han on the left. Han into Cruiser, and Cruiser nothing. It's a corner. I don't think much is going to come from this. It's going to be about half time now, guys. <laughs> and there we are. It's got to be half time. Yep, half time. Disappointed. Assertive. One goal makes us the favourites. Come on. You have the ability to make the difference. Guess what, midfielders? You can make the difference. Guess what, attackers? You can make the difference. Now let's go and actually fucking do it in this second half. Come on, lads. Cruiser. Come on. Cruiser gives it to Han. And then it stops. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Don't make me make substitutions. Don't make me change things around. We should be playing well enough to win this. 63, 64, 60. Right, substitution time. Who's not playing well? Raphael's not playing well. On comes nobody, because I've got no other striker on there. Actually, I think Hagota can play up front, so Hagota's going to play up front. And instead of... I'm going to keep Herman on. Instead of Han... On comes... No, no. Herman... Wait, let's undo that last one. Herman is going to go up front instead of Raphael. And instead of Raphael, on's going to come Traore. And we'll just make one change. And there we go. We'll switch. When it comes on, we'll switch from standard to control. And we'll have a team talk. Passionate. Push forward. Confirm. And let's see if we can win this one. I mean, a point should be enough to see us through. But, we'll see. Hopefully, if we pick up a point, if we pick up three, it'd be even better. But we might even not even get one from this. Griskin to Nazarenko to Kovalchuk. To Nazarenko, Griskin, Kovalchuk, Nazarenko, Zabut, Zabulta, or Zabula, puts... Chana Moretz, 1-0 ahead, basically puts us out of the game. There's no way in this amount of time we're going to get back ahead of it. <coughs> Pardon me. I'm going to switch this to overload now. Let's see if we can actually 
Oh wait, let's see what this highlight gives us. Han to vent. Whips it in, no one there. Han shoots, hits the post, and there's Pete. He's offside. Don't really make much difference. So I'm going to switch to overload. We're going to switch to that. And we're going to assertive, demand more, confirm, see if we can at least pick a point out of this at the last minute. Kramer, Cobb, full time. That is f very, very disappointing. I'm actually going to even aggressively say, not good enough, we should be winning that. Screw you, Andre Hahn, who says, my thoughts on this defeat, humiliating, absolutely humiliating. And now it comes down to that last game against Elfsborg. If Elfsborg beat us by eight goals, then they go ahead of us. It took me a second to work that one out, guys. But if they come, if they beat us by eight goals, they go ahead of us. I don't think it's going to happen. Or, no, that's it. That's the only possible outcome. We play Elfsborg and they beat us by eight goals. I don't think it's going to happen, so we're through pretty much regardless. But I'm disappointed, nonetheless, that we couldn't win that game. Upset by it. But that's a very it's a very bad way to end the episode, guys. So I'm just going to leave it there. But as always, I've been The Real Top Fan. And if you want to check out this Let's Play from Chris's perspective, the link will be in the description. As always, if there's anything you want to tell me, tactics, sign-ins, anything just the way I'm playing the game, anything you think I'm missing, whatever, put it in the comments below. I do read all my comments. I might not reply to them, but I do read them all, guys. So that's what that comment section is there for. Please let me know if there's anything in there. And like I say, if you want to check out Chris's perspective, the link will be in the description to his channel. So as always, I've been The Real Tough Fan. Thanks very much for watching, guys, and take it easy.